Jordan-Hare Stadium, site of the 1980 renewal of the rivalry between Tennessee and Auburn. Tennessee's place kicker, Alan Duncan, is visiting with Coach Johnny Major, discussing the wind and conditions at this beautiful stadium on the campus of Auburn University in Alabama. Coach Majors, a record crowd as this expanded stadium has over 72,000 fans on hand for this second visit to Auburn by Tennessee. In 1974, six, Auburn six, won 21 to nothing. The Volunteers have not won over Auburn in the state of Alabama since 1966, and Tennessee has not won a game against either Auburn or Alabama in that state since 1969. The Tri-Captain, 78 Irwin, 10 is Duncan, 50 is Bradland. Referee Robert Allier will toss the coin. And he will indicate, let's see, Tennessee has won the toss. Tennessee and that means the Volunteers have the option. The Tennessee team elects to receive, and Auburn will be kicking off defending the North goal. So this game is set to get underway. And it's going to be Davey Blanks to do the kicking. Deep for Tennessee, Willie Gault, and the game is underway. End over end kick. It's Gault pulling it down at the goal line. 5, 10, 15. Oh, he's knocked out as he gets to the 19-yard line. And Tennessee goes on offense. First down and 10 to go just outside its 19-yard line. Game just getting underway. Number 5 for Tennessee, Ocheski. Fullback is Berry, 34. Tailback, Daniels, 43. Flankers left and right. Tennessee coming to the... No, it's going to be Ocheski to pass. It is ooh, almost intercepted. It was intended for Hancock. Almost picked off by the linebacker, Skutak but it's incomplete. Second and 10, Tennessee. Terry Daniels tries to get outside, running out of room, caught and dropped. Picked up maybe two yards on the play. It's got to be third down, eight yards to go for Tennessee. Nothing to nothing to score. Oshesky on the keeper, turn. Up there, hit, ooh, bangs free of the tackle, but then is Hamilton as he moves back to the 25-yard line, far short of the first, so Auburn is held. And drifting deep to receive the anticipated punt will be Wilkes. John Warren in for jealousy, gets the punt away. Bounding at the 40-yard line of Auburn, rolling to the 35, and will be down at the 31-yard line. Auburn first down and 10 to go, and it's 31. Quarterback will be Thomas. The pitch to Brooks, trying the corner. He's hit, dropped after a gain of maybe four yards. James Brooks, All-American candidate at tailback. There's the pitch. There's the turn, and he is hit, and the man there was Danny Spradlin. Gain on the play of four yards, second down, six yards to go. Nothing to nothing to score. Tennessee in a 5-2 defense. Thomas keeping, turning, getting forward. Picks up about five yards, moving the ball out to the 40-yard line before he's tackled. Auburn comes with a full house backfield. Tennessee might have jumped off sides. Handoff goes to Brooks. He's running with it, and the whistle obviously has sounded. And there's a penalty marker on the play, and it's... See, the referee says Tennessee is guilty of illegal procedure. It's first down, 10 to go Auburn at the Tiger 45-yard line. Bill Bates jumping in and out on the far side for Tennessee. Thomas back to throw, slips and falls, and his knee drags the ground, and it is a loss on the play of eight yards. Second down and 18 yards to go. Auburn, nothing to nothing the score. First period, Tennessee in a 5-2, Auburn, flankers left and right. Thomas fakes the draw, back to look. May throws, going to have to run with the ball, breaks the tackle to 45, 35, back to the 40, to the 45. He's tackled as he gets out there to the 47-yard line. Brilliant scrambling by Thomas. A second look. There you see he's being pressured. Scampers free there, eludes another tackler, breaks another tackle, stays on his feet, moves that ball for a gain of 11 yards. But it will be third and seven because of the earlier loss. Back to throw Thomas. Thomas looking, pass into the flat. He is completed to 50. Brooks, ooh, he's hit by Jones. Wilbur Jones then helped out by Bates. But it was one-on-one -on -one in the open field, and Wilbur Jones, let's take a second look. This is Brooks. That's Jones stopping him in his step and then moving him straight backward, help from Bates. So it is short of the first down, and it will be fourth down and one yard to go. Excellent defensive play by Brownsville, Tennessee's Wilbur Jones. The punt by Bollinger. Dahl is signaling for a fair catch. He's going to let the ball skip, hoping it'll go into the end zone, but it is downed by Auburn at the 11-yard line. 
Fine punt coverage by the Tigers, so Tennessee's backed up deep in its own territory. Nothing and nothing to score. Oshevsky, the quarterback, hand off to the fullback, and this is Barry. He's banged right at the line of scrimmage, twists off for a gain of two, second down eight. Oshevsky, now it's Dangles trying the right side, a little running room, not much. Moves the ball out to about the 15-yard line. It's going to be third down six. Tennessee with the football. Running back split. Olszewski on the option to the right. Pitch. Pass complete. Taken by Barry. Barry at the 20 to the 25. Shoved out of bounds as he moves to the 26-yard line. Tennessee with the first down. There's the second look. There's the run by Barry. And Tennessee's got it first and 10 at the volunteer 26-yard line. Tennessee in the backfield. Now they come off that slot formation to the wide left side. That's Harper inside as the slot man. The handoff goes, however, to Daniels, and Daniels tries the left side of the line and picks up about four yards. It'll be second down and six. Oshevsky rolling to the near side. The pass complete. It's Barry at the 40, up to the 45-yard line before he's belted out of bounds. A second look. Oshevsky, Barry, and he carries the ball for the first down and 10 to go to the volunteer 45-yard line. James Berry, a junior from Natchez, Mississippi. I formation standing at the tail of the tandem will be Daniels, and this is Daniels with the football through the right side of the line. Stumbles but stays on his feet and fights forward for nine yards. Here's the give, there's the stumble, there's the hand, there's the dive. It's a nine-yard gain by Tim Daniels. Tennessee moving into Auburn territory. Again, it's Daniels. Oh, he stood up right at the line of skinnage. Fine defensive play that time by Auburn Skutak with help from Wood. Ball spotted at the 45-yard line of the Tigers, about a half a yard shy of the first down. Tennessee with the full house backfield. Oshevsky, the quarterback. This is Barry. This is a first down. Barry at the 40. Barry at the 35. Barry to the 34-yard line. A second look. James Barry, good effort, carries the ball for the first down for Tennessee, moving it to the 34-yard line of the Auburn Tigers. Nothing to nothing is the score. Oshevsky back to throw down the middle the pass complete Reggie Harper flat on his back makes the completion a second look Harper Tennessee continues to move with that football at the 20 yard line now it's Oshevsky back to throw once more out into the flat it's completed taken there by Carlton Armstrong he's knocked down after a pickup of two yards on the play Oshevsky to Armstrong to the 18-yard line. From the ground level, you're watching action right now as Tennessee is moving deeper and deeper into Tiger territory. Delay, handoff, forward, forward with the football, spinning, turning, driving, fighting his way all the way down to the four-yard line. A second look. Glenn Ford at the 10. At the 5, he's tackled as he gets to the four-yard line. Tennessee will have it first down and goal to go. Nothing to nothing to score. 9,000 Tennessee fans at Jordan-Hare Stadium. A predominantly Auburn crowd, of course. This will be carrying that football, turning up the middle. James Berry twisting and turning and battling his way down to the one-yard line. Second down goal. Oshevsky sneaking. Touchdown, Tennessee. Jeff Olszewski caps the 89-yard drive, sneaking in behind North for the Tennessee touchdown. And the Volunteers lead by a score of 6 to nothing. The extra point attempt by Duncan is up and good. And Tennessee fans signal the Volunteers have grabbed the lead 7 to nothing over Auburn. Kicking off will be Duncan, high and long, angling for the far sideline, bounce there at the goal line, and is just being watched. It, he finally picks it up, and he's dropped at the two-yard line. A moment of indecision between the receivers who were Brooks and Peoples, and Peoples finally picks the ball up. Had he let it lay there and Tennessee recovered it, of course it would be Tennessee's ball. It is a free ball once it goes 10 yards. Auburn, however, deep in its own territory. This is quarterback Thomas on a keeper, got a couple of yards from the two to the four. Second down, long for Auburn. Thomas, the quarterback, trying to get to the outside. Oh, he's wrapped up and dropped. Trailing the play to make the stop this time was Spradlin. Third down long. Auburn trailing seven to nothing. Backed up deep in its own territory. Thomas to the near side. Turns. He's tackled. There was Castile. And a second look shows you that he was banged by a linebacker. And Tennessee stops Auburn. 
And it's fourth down and five yards to go. And into the game to punt will be Bollinger. There's the punt. This is Galt asking for a fair catch, which he makes, falls, and is run into by one of the coverers for Auburn. No flag on the play. Tennessee will go on offense first down and 10 to go after the punt at Tennessee's 46-yard line. Olszewski, quarterback, back to throw. Here's the pass. It is complete. Taken by Anthony Hancock of Tennessee. Maybe, or was it Galt? It was Hancock, number 28. Back to throw, Olszewski. Here's the pass. There's Hancock. There's the catch. Immediately wrapped up and dropped, and a penalty flag was thrown back in Tennessee's backfield. And it will be a personal foul against Auburn. Tacking on 15 more yards to the completed pass. And Tennessee's got it first down at 10 to go at the Auburn 21-yard line. Twisting and turning up the middle comes fullback James Beery. Gets about a yard before he's tackled by Warren and Wood. Olszewski rolling to throw in trouble. Comes out of the pocket, throws the ball downfield, complete. It's taken by Willie Gall. A second look. He's in trouble. He's out of the pocket, rips the pass, and it is thrown perfectly very low, but diving after to save it is Galt, and Tennessee's got the ball. Third and a yard. Right side, driving. This will be James Berry for Tennessee. Berry moves the ball for what will be first down and 10 to go as the first quarter comes to a close, with Tennessee leading by a score of 7 to nothing. Now Tennessee will be moving toward the south end of the football field as the second period gets underway. Auburn. It's crowd cheering for defensive effort by the Tigers. This is Olszewski. Coming to the near side of the bootleg. Will pull it down at the 10. Breaks the tackle there. Has the ball at the 5. Diving out of bounds. The officials say he stepped out inside the 5-yard line. Tennessee leading 7-0. Into the full house backfield. Barry the tailback. Has the ball at the 3. At the 2. Still fighting at the 1. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. <laughs> From the end zone, ground level shot. You can see that it's second effort all the way by James Berry refusing to be stopped. The third look. There he stopped. There he stopped. There he stopped. No, he isn't. He scores for Tennessee. And the Volunteers open up a 13 to nothing lead over the Tigers of Auburn. James Berry scoring for Tennessee. John Warren will be holding for the extra point attempt by Alan Duncan. The kick by Duncan is up, and the referee will tell you the kick is good. Tennessee 14, Auburn nothing. Second period just getting underway. Duncan has teed them all up. As the Volunteers, surprisingly, jumping off to an early lead. Surprisingly, we say, because Auburn was the favorite team. Long, long kick. Brooks backing up, makes the catch in the end zone, strides out with it. Auburn goes on offense first down and 10 to go, trailing 14 to nothing. Ball at the 20-yard line. Running back split, that's Peoples left, Brooks right, quarterback Thomas. Carrying the ball up the middle, this is the first man through Peoples. He rams it for a gain of four. Second look, Spradlin makes the stop on him. Gain on the play of four, second down six at the 24-yard line. Tennessee 89, Castillo 61, Bolton 29, Martin. Auburn, Thomas, pitch to Brooks. Brooks, oh, he's met that 61, Bolton 29, Martin. Carrying the ball was Brooks for a gain of three out to the 27-yard line. It will be third down three. Again, the pitch to Brooks. Brooks has first down yardage this time. He's tackled by Noonan, but he had. Maybe that was Bolton instead. But he gets the first down and 10 to go for the Plainsman at the 33-yard line. Auburn shifts into an eye formation. Standing is Brooks as the tailback. Thomas keeping, turning, has the ball for a gain of three, four, five, six yards all the way up to the 40-yard line. It'll be second down four. Auburn with the ball. Now they come out of the eye, split, splitting the running backs after the shift. Hand off on a delay goes to the right halfback. That was Peoples carrying the ball, and he gets forward for what appears to be a first down. And is. First down and 10 to go for Auburn. 40 there is Bates for Tennessee. 90 is Brad White. Tennessee jumps into a 4-3 defense this time against Auburn. Creeping up on the right side is Bill Bates. This is Thomas. The pass downfield is incomplete. It was intended for Byron Franklin, number 82, defending number 7, Wilbur Jones. Second down 10. Tennessee leading 14 to nothing. Thomas spinning to the left side is caught and dropped. Castile and Spradlin, two Miraville High School graduates teaming up on the stop. 
third down about seven yards to go back to throw this will be Thomas getting pressure he's going to be sacked behind the line of scrimmage charging through leading it was white then comes Cooper 90 is white 93 is Cooper they wrap him up and drop him for a loss on the play of seven yards and Auburn after reeling off two first downs is stopped fourth down long in the punt will be Bollinger high long punt by Bollinger again it is called asking for and making the fair catch at the Tennessee 13 yard line the balls on offense leading in the football game by a score of 14 to nothing Oshevsky the quarterback to the near side Oshevsky Daniels Daniels tripped up and stays on his feet and battles forward for a gain on the play of about seven yards Tennessee second down three yards to go at the 20 yard line Ocheski to Daniels Daniels is wandering over the left side of the line slicing forward for about a yard on the play it's going to be third down two yards to go wide to the left side for Tennessee goes Hancock wide right golf and slotting this way comes Harper I formation Auburn 4-3 defense handoff left side Daniels fighting for a first down yardage let's see if he gets it I think he did he had to get to the 23 yard line he noses the ball forward to the 24 yard line it will be first down and 10 to go for Tennessee With it, Ochevsky, the pass into the flat, complete. Hancock, 25, Hancock, 30. Hancock is stood up and shoved back downfield. But the completed pass, as you see the second look, that's Hancock with the ball now. Out to the 32-yard line. Gain on the play of right at seven yards. It'll be second down and three. Auburn in that 4-3 defense with an outside linebacker to the right side. Handoff goes to Daniels, and Daniels is stopped after he got maybe a yard or two. The officials indicate a two-yard gain, third down one. Daniels for the first down. It will be close, but I think that he was able to get it forward. Pick it is first, first and ten for Tennessee. for Tennessee. The Volunteers at the Tennessee 35-yard line. Ocheski for the pass downfield. It is incomplete, but a penalty marker was called. It was intended for Reggie Harper. A second look. Ocheski's pass. There's Harper tackled before the ball got there, and the penalty flag ensues defensive pass interference against the Auburn Tigers Tennessee with the automatic first down near midfield and off this time with it is Daniels around the left side of the line and Daniels shows the quickness as he goes for daylight moves into Auburn territory down to the 46 yard line second on upcoming for the Volunteers again it's Daniels this time he stood up after he moves the ball inside the 45 They'll spot it at the Auburn 44-yard line. It will be third down, and as you see, just inches to go. Tennessee leading in the football game by a score of 14 to nothing. Oshevsky sneaking it forward. Picks up the first down. It's first and 10. Oshevsky back to throw. The pass downfield. It's complete. That's Mike Miller. Beautiful route by Miller as he curls to the sideline. A second look. Oshevsky. Miller. And Tennessee's got a first down moving on Harvard at the 28 yard line. Running with the football straight up the middle. This will be James Berry. And Berry grinds out a gain of three. It's second down seven, the 25 yard line. Oshevsky on play action, pass into the flat. This is Hancock, 25, Hancock, 20, Hancock, 15. Hancock hustled out of bounds inside the 15 yard line. A second look from the sideline. Hancock with the football running right toward you. There he shoved out of bounds. But Tennessee will have it first down and 10 to go as the ball was moved to the 14-yard line. Handoff, fullback Barry. Barry at the left side of the line, pounding behind North and Marin, moves it to the 11-yard line. Second down, seven. Tennessee moving deeper and deeper in Auburn territory. Ocheski with the football, rolling left, pass into the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee! Reggie Harper with a one-hand catch. A second look, Ocheski. Harper, sensational one-handed grab by tight end Reggie Harper, who missed most of the, well, he missed all of the first two games, much of the third game, getting his first start, a third look from the end zone sideline. What a grab by Harper, a senior from Hartsville, Tennessee. And the Volunteers open up a lead of 20 to nothing over the Auburn Tigers at Auburn. In to attempt the extra point will be Alan Duncan. The kick by Duncan is up, and the kick by Duncan is good. So Tennessee leads Auburn in the second period by a score of 21 to nothing. Kicking off will be Duncan once more. It is taken this time by Coffee at the 10. 
15, coming outside of the 20. He's tackled as he gets to the 21-yard line, leading the charge for Tennessee, Chevette Suttle. Auburn, first down, 10 to go at the 21-yard line. The Plainsman trailing by a score of 21 to nothing. Penalty marker flies. Once more, Tennessee jumps off sides before the ball is snapped. There's the five-yard penalty against Tennessee. And it will make it first down and five to go for Auburn at the 26-yard line. The pitch to Brooks, trying to get wide. Oh, he's hit and hit hard as filtering through was Danny Spradlin once more on the tackle. Moved out to the 27-yard line. Brooks into the corner. He's tackled again. Let's see who was there. Jones and Noonan both there. He was fighting for the first down. I don't think he made it. So Auburn with the football. Carrying will be Thomas. And Thomas, I think, also was stopped. Let's see. This is a third down one situation, Thomas. There is Studaway. There is Bates. And there are a host of volunteers. And he is stopped short of the first down by a yard. It was third and one. It is now fourth and one. And into the game for Auburn comes Bollinger to punt. Tennessee leads in the game by a score of 21 to nothing. Punt coming downfield again. Willie Galt for Tennessee asks for and makes a fair catch at the Tennessee 30-yard line. First and 10, Tennessee at its 30-yard line. Leading 21 to nothing. Olszewski's gone all the way. He's at quarterback now against a 5-2 Auburn defense. Hand off Daniels. Daniels 40, 45, Daniels 50. Almost to the 50-yard line. Let's take a second look. This is Terry Daniels, 35, 40, 45. Down he goes as he moves that football to the 47-yard line. It will be for jealousy. First down and 10 to go. Olszewski. With that slot formation, three wide outs back to throw. The long pass by Olszewski downfield is complete. Taken by Gall. A penalty marker is down. Gall with the football. Saunders on down to the 17-yard line. A second look as Olszewski throws and Galt gets the ball there. He's got it at the 20, turning downfield, moving to the 17. The penalty marker was dropped at the point of the reception, and we'll see what the call's going to be. Could be against Tennessee, could be against pass Auburn. It is defensive pass interference against Auburn. So the pass is complete, and it will be for Tennessee first down and 10 to go at the Auburn 17-yard line. Olszewski. This will be Terry Daniels. Daniels 15, Daniels 10, Daniels 5. Daniels moves the ball to the three-yard line, where it will be first and goal. From the sideline, Terry Daniels turning it on, lowering the head and booming the ball for the gain of 14 yards at the right side of the line, and Tennessee has it first down and goal to go. Olszewski brings his team to the line in that full house backfield. Armstrong, the fullback. Barry is the tailback. The give is to Barry, and this is Barry fighting, turning, grinding, battling his way into the end zone for a touchdown. And Tennessee builds its lead in the first half over Auburn to 27 to nothing. Alan Duncan, once more, will be attempting the extra point. Spotted the tee, and now it will be Warren to receive the snap from Jack Jolly, the center. The kick by Duncan is in the air, and the kick by Duncan yes, is good. So at the end of the first half, a jubilant group of Tennessee fans cheering on the volunteers as they come back out to begin the second half. Tennessee leads by a score of 28 to nothing over Auburn. Auburn has the option as the second half gets underway, and the Tigers elect to receive. This will be Alan Duncan to kick off. A squibber that is taken by Peoples at the 9, to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, to the 25, all the way back out to the 32-yard line. So Auburn goes on offense. First down at 10 to go. Excellent return by Peoples. Quarterback will be Joe Sullivan. Tennessee in a 5-2 defense. Sullivan is checking off at the line of scrimmage. Long, long count. Now it's Sullivan. Rolling to the left to throw. Gets a little pressure. Looking here at the pass downfield. Intercepted by Castillo of Tennessee. Castillo with a fine, fine interception. A second look. Sullivan in trouble. Now as the pass is thrown and Castillo slides in from the sideline to intercept the ball. And Tennessee goes on offense as Auburn in its first play in the second half has a turnover on the interception by Castillo. Tennessee with it first down and 10 to go at the Auburn 41-yard line. Olszewski on the pitch to Daniels. Daniels at the 40. Daniels at the 35. 30. Daniels 25. Daniels still on his feet. Fights his way close to the 20-yard line. A second look. Blocking out front. Barry cutting inside the block was Daniels. Daniels with the ball. Still running. 
into his own interferer down Steele, but nevertheless lose the ball from the first down and 10 to go at the 21-yard line. Terry Daniels, junior from Miami, Florida, having an outstanding game at tailback. Pitch now comes to Daniels. Gets a block at the corner. Daniels 20, 15, Daniels 10, Daniels 5. Oodles down to the three-yard line. Terry Daniels gets the pitch. Armstrong makes the block at the corner. And Terry Daniels turns it on and speeds downfield to give Tennessee the ball. First down and goal to go at the three-yard line. Tennessee now with the ball. First down and goal after the pass interception sets up this early third period drive. Full house backfield. Oshevsky. Very, very big hole. Touchdown, Tennessee. James Berry with a, yet another Tennessee touchdown, his third of the football game. And the Volunteers lead in this contest by a score of 34 to nothing. Duncan will try to make it 35, and he does. Tennessee 35, Auburn nothing. Third period at Auburn. The biggest margin ever between these two schools, 28 points. Now Tennessee leads 35 to nothing. Tennessee fans jubilant. Duncan will be kicking off. The ball is teed. As you see, and here's the kick by Duncan. It will be a long one and will be taken on the fair catch in the end zone by people. Tennessee kicking the ball away from James Brooks, who has yet been unable to return a kickoff. Tennessee has made six of them thus far in the football game. Auburn to the line. Thomas back in there at quarterback, coming to the near side. Pumps will run, gets free, great run, still on his feet, breaks a tackle, runs through another tackle, fumbles the football, I think. Tennessee says it has the ball. There is a penalty flag back down at the line of scrimmage. Coming out of there with it for Tennessee is Gaines. The official indicates illegal procedure, and apparently the fumble was ruled not a fumble. The ball apparently was ruled down, so Tennessee will take the five-yard penalty against Auburn. Auburn on a draw with the ball, Peoples. Peoples makes a nice little move at the line of skimmage, moving it back upfield where it will be for Auburn. Second down and six yards to go after the nine-yard game. Thomas, here's the pressure from Wampler. Then Wampler is helped out as it's Wampler getting there first and coming from the other side might have been Cooper. A second look, Thomas back to throw. 77 Wampler sliding in from the other side. That is Brad White helping out, throwing him on the sack for a sizable loss. It will be third down 12. Auburn with the ball, trailing 35 to nothing in the third period. Tennessee in a 5-2 defense. This is Noonan coming through there quickly. This is Thomas in trouble. Now Thomas throws the ball downfield. Complete fall down at the 35-yard line. Moving on forward is Grisham. And Auburn will have it first down and 10 to go. Coach Johnny Major to the Volunteers. His team ahead by a score of 35 to nothing. But Auburn has come back against Tennessee traditionally year after year after year. The Tigers have it first down at 10 to go. Sullivan in there now at quarterback. They give us to Brooks, and Brooks circling the left side of the line is shoved out of bounds. Again on the play of close to five yards, making it second down and five near midfield. Tennessee 35, Auburn nothing. Back to throw Thomas. Thomas again being pressured. Thomas is going to throw the ball downfield. It is complete. Down to the Tennessee 41-yard line. A second look at the play by... Sullivan, not Thomas. That's Sullivan throwing the ball, and it is complete. And the reception was made by Atkins. It will be first down and 10 to go at the 41-yard line. Joe Sullivan is now in there at quarterback for Auburn. Tennessee in a 5-2 defense. Sullivan likes to throw that football. He's going to throw it downfield, and it is complete. Another fine reception by the Tigers this time. Pulling the ball down is Byron Franklin, number 82. Gain on the play of eight yards. It's second and two at the Tennessee 33-yard line. Auburn moving with that football. Joe Sullivan back to throw once more. Here's the pass. It is complete. Taken by Edwards. Edwards moving with the football down to the Tennessee 20-yard line. And Auburn, its first sustained drive deeper and deeper into Tennessee territory. The Tigers to the line of the I formation. Slot set to the right side. The pass will, pitch will go back to Brooks. Brooks moving down inside Tennessee's 15-yard line. There's a scramble for what appears to be a fumble. No signal from the official as yet. Mike Coper, 93 for Tennessee, says the Volunteers have recovered a fumble. 
So does Tennessee's manager, and now one of the official moves in to concur. But we'll just have to wait and see as they unscramble the pile of humanity. And coming out of there with the football, Tennessee has recovered Chris Wampler. Wampler, their sophomore, has recovered the fumble, and Tennessee stops the Auburn drive. This is Ochesky pitching the ball back to Daniels. Daniels moving through Daniels the left side of the line. Carries it forward. And it will be Tennessee in control again. This is Daniels carrying the football. As it's moved out to the 31 yard line. Through the right side of the line, Glenn Ford countering for Tennessee. It's going to be short of the first down, so the Volunteers send John Warren into punt. Here's Auburn with a big rush. They had 10 men on the line of scrimmage. Warren gets the punt away, and asking for and making a fair catch downfield will be Wilt. Auburn breaking the huddle to the line they come with Sullivan at quarterback. Score of the game, 35 to nothing. Sullivan, the pitch. This is Coffey, somersaulted down. As penetrating for Tennessee comes Wilbur Jones. There's Jones, there's Spratt of the help. Gain on the play of a yard. It will be second down, nine yards to go. Sullivan for Auburn. Clearing a pass out into the flat. Pulled down by the back coming out of the backfield, who in this case was Coffey. And Coffey rambles forward for a gain of several yards, but it's short of a first, so it's third down upcoming. Sullivan. Back to throw again. In trouble. The pass is going to be caught. Complete upfield. Taken at the Auburn 45-yard line by a diving wood. First down, 10 Auburn. Trailing 35 to nothing. Again, it's Sullivan rolling to the left. The pass downfield is complete. It's caught this time. That's uh, Wood again who makes the catch. Auburn moving with it again. Back to throw. This will be... Sullivan, the pass is intercepted by Wilbur Jones of Tennessee in perfect position as he was playing in front of the intended receiver, Franklin. Here's the pass by Sullivan downfield, and there's Wilbur Jones for the interception at the Tennessee 20 yard line. Wilbur Jones with the pass interception, a senior from Brownsville, Tennessee, a defensive cornerback for Tennessee as the third period comes to a close. And Tennessee will have it first down and 10 to go, moving now toward the south end of the football field. And the Volunteers insert Steve Alatori at quarterback. Alatori handoff with the football. Daniels, Daniels at the 20 to the 23 yard line. Then a penalty marker is dropped. On the play, face mask face violation mask. against Auburn. At the tackle, 15 yard penalty tacked onto the game. Tennessee first out of 10 to go at its 37 yard line. Olszewski, the pass out here, completed, taken by Hancock. Got a yard that he shot far back downfield. Only about, well, actually lost a yard on the play as the pass was caught behind the line of scrimmage. Olszewski back to throw once more. Here's a long pass downfield. It is incomplete. Intended for Willie Galt, slightly underthrown. Defended well by Beasley. So the pass is incomplete. Alatori at quarterback for Tennessee. 4-3 defense Auburn. Handoff, left side. Oh, what a stick. And a little jostling going on right there after the ball was blown dead. On the play, face mask violation indicated against Tennessee. 15-yard penalty against the Volunteers. So Warren is on there as the infraction occurred after the ball was dead. And he'll have to punt on the fourth down. The punt downfield is taken by Wilkes of Auburn. He returns it for the Tigers. And Auburn will go on offense. First down, 10 to go. And oh, this time for Auburn. As Tennessee leads back to throw. This will be Thomas. The pass out there is caught. And the man who makes the reception runs into his one of his own players near midfield. We'll wait for them to unstack. It's close to a first down. Auburn with the football. Here's Thomas coming to the near side. Turns the corner at the 50 and is just written out of bounds right there at the 50-yard line. 83 is Morgan. And Jackson is pursuing the freshman middle guard. And Morgan also a freshman making the stop fourth down. And Auburn is going to... Go for the first down. It's fourth down, about four yards to go, but Auburn trailing 35 to nothing. He likes to go for the first, so let's see what happens. This is Sullivan with a long count. Sullivan on the pass out into the flat. The pass is incomplete, and Tennessee will take over. 
Alatori will be the quarterback. Alatori on the reverse. This is Willie Galt. 50. Willie Galt 45. 40 down to the 37-yard line. Comes Willie Galt on the reverse. A second look. Nice ball handling there by Alatori. This is Galt. Good interference. He turns inside and carries the ball down to the Auburn 36-yard line. Actually, the 37. Where? Alatori. Handoff forward. Staggering forward for about five yards on the play. Down to the 32. It'll be second down and five. The pitch to Ford coming to the near side. Blocked by Armstrong. Ford at the 20. Down to the 20-yard line. Inside, he moves it to about the 16 or 17-yard line. A second look. The pitch to Glenn Ford. The block by Armstrong. Ford turns on the speed. Turns on the power. And booms his way downfield to the 16-yard line. A third look at the run by Greensboro, North Carolina's Glenn Ford. Blocked by Armstrong, 30, 25, 20. Down he moves the ball to the 16-yard line. Tennessee leading 35 to nothing, moving yet another time. Handoff left side. Grinding upfield for Tennessee. Again, it will be Ford moving it for three yards from the 16 to the 13. It's Ford. This time moving the ball even closer. Tennessee will have it at the 11-yard line. Third down, Alatori. Back to throw, looking, pass into the flat, complete, Mike Cover, touchdown, Tennessee. Atlanta, Georgia's junior tight end, Mike Cover, makes the reception, a second look. Back to throw, Alatori arches the ball perfectly to Cover, and Cover moves into the end zone to give Tennessee a lead of 41 to nothing. 88 is Miller. Cunningham, a lot of freshmen playing in that offensive line for Tennessee, Singer and Knight. Here's the extra point attempt up there by Alan Duncan. It is good. On the sideline, 73, that's Lee North. That's Jeff Olszewski, that's Wilbur Jones. Tennessee spelling victory in the fourth period, leading 42 to nothing over Auburn at Auburn. Some of the Auburn fans have begun to file out of the stadium. The Tennessee fans staying right there as Duncan will be kicking off. A squibber takes a bounce. It will be Auburn with the ball. Up to the 20, to the 25, moving the ball back on a fine return for Auburn. That was Martin bringing the ball back. And so it will be Auburn with the ball. Throwing it, this will be Sullivan. The pass is completed out into the flat to Davis. A second look. Fine stick from the rear by Tennessee's Danny Martin. Gain on the play of six yards, however. It will be second down and four. Tennessee leading 42 to nothing. Sullivan on a draw, twisting and turning and fighting for what may be a first down. That will be Willis who has come on. Pitch again to Willis at the 40. Willis to the 43 to the 44-yard line. He gets out there, and that will make it first down and 10 to go for the Tigers. Dejarnett is now in there behind Willis running a tailback. The pitch to Dejarnett, 45, up to the 48, maybe to the 49-yard line. Auburn trailing by a score of 42 to nothing. Tennessee with a lot of second-line defensive players in that football game. Morgan, a freshman, back to throw. This will be, no, the pitch will go instead to Willis, who tries to get to the corner, and he does get to the corner, but doesn't get much yardage. As he shoved out of bounds in the vicinity of the Tennessee 46 yard line. Back to throw. There's the pop. There's Sullivan. Long pass downfield. It is incomplete. Overthrow. It was intended for Atkins. Defending for Tennessee was Greg Gaines. Auburn trailing 42 to nothing. Again, back to throw Sullivan. The pass thrown inside. Great reception down to the Tennessee 40, moving it to the 38 yard line. That was Clanton who makes the reception. It will be third down to Auburn. Pitch goes back to Coffee. Coffee turns the corner. He's got a first down as he moves the ball inside Tennessee's 40, inside the 30 yard line to the 29. Auburn with it once more. Sullivan in trouble. Sullivan is hit. Sullivan is slung down. Fumbles that football. Stunaway got there. Here comes Mike Hofer. 93 after the ball. Picks it up. And Tennessee recovers the ball. And Tennessee leads by a score of 42 to nothing. Coach Johnny Majors 
as the volunteers watch the seconds tick away. 61 coming off the field is Bolton. 98, there's 93. That's Mike Coper. He scrambles after the fumble, talking there with Oshevsky and some of his teammates. Somebody asked him, what were you trying to do with the ball? Where were you heading? And Coper says, to the end zone. Tennessee wins 42 to nothing over Auburn. On the field here at Jordan-Hare Stadium with us is Bill Marin, now offensive guard from Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Bill, I guess the victory over Auburn was an awfully sweet. The offensive line played very well. Yeah, we uh, we come together this week, uh, the best we've ever played this this year, and uh, probably one of the best times we played in two years, next to maybe Kentucky and Notre Dame last year. The defense did a did a hell of a job last uh, the first half and uh, come and gave us the ball in good field position. We kept them off the field and uh, we just got together and everything went together this week and we we came down with a good attitude and ready to play. The Tennessee offensive line seemed to blow Auburn back all day long. Well, uh, I don't know if we blowed them off the ball. I'd have to watch a film on that. Uh, we did a lot of good things. At times, we got in trouble once or twice where we broke down on pass protection. But in general, we did a, we did a real fine job on uh, line blocking, and it opened up our outside game and our passing lanes. And uh, we, that was our game plan, and we executed like we should. Defensive end Mike Castile from Maryville, Tennessee, now with us. Mike, today a shutout for the defense, and that's got to make everybody happy. Oh, that makes the defense especially happy because, you know, we set a goal first of the year that we want to be the the less scored defense in the conference and uh, getting that big goose egg on the school board today means a whole lot. You did a good <clears> job of containing James Brooks and that was one of the key game plans. Yeah, we uh, we have to get him inside, you know, so our inside men can come in and pursue and, and make big plays and uh, we did that today. This is running back Terry Daniels, the volunteers from Miami, Florida, who for the first time against Auburn in his career at Tennessee went over the 100 yard mark rushing. Terry, congratulations. It seemed like the offensive line was doing a great job for you. They did a tremendous job. They blew everybody off the line. You know, first strain, second strain, full bay, they did a job of blocking on sweeps. They did a great job of running, you know. The offensive line, they just did a great job. Terry, it seemed like the offensive line was pushing Auburn back a little bit, then you were just waiting for the seams to open up and then made the quick cut. That's all it is, really, you know. They, um, what they're doing, just blowing the guys off the line. It was up to us, you know, to find the hole. We practice, you know, running toward what the hole is going to be, but then again, you know, you can't depend on it to be there. But, um, you know, you ever think about it, no matter where you run on that right side, it's going to be a hole somewhere, right or left. But they did a great job of blocking. Tight end Reggie Harper from Hartsville, Tennessee, now with us. Reggie, today, congratulations. Fine effort overall, offense and defense. Well, it was. Uh, our defense did a tremendous job, and uh, our offense finally got some things going for themselves, too. Reggie, you've been having some knee problems, but it didn't seem to bother you today much. Well, um, Dr. Yeoman did a real fine job, and uh, Tim Tim Karen has uh, worked with me real hard in, in rebuilding the leg, and um, they let me play a little bit last week, and uh, then they turned me loose this week. Tremendous catch you had, the one-headed grab down in the end zone. That was just one of those lucky catches. Uh, over a long period of time, being a receiver, you make a few of them, you know. Again, one final time, Tennessee beats Auburn 42 to nothing. Have next week off, and they play Georgia Tech in two weeks down in Atlanta. This is Bob Kessling reporting from Jordan-Hare Stadium in Auburn.